There are dams and impoundments up and down the Great Dividing Range, which have been created for both drinking water and irrigation. The added bonus we get from these structures is a stocked waterway. Now there's a range of different species to be found in these large pockets of water, but today we're going to concentrate on just one, and that's the mighty Australian bass. <laughs> These impairment bass can be pretty tough things to work out. So much, uh, well, so many competitions on these waters and uh, lots of lures get thrown around. I reckon they get used to seeing the same old lure and it can be a, a real battle just to try and find a lure that's working. I'm throwing a, a bibless minnow at the moment and uh, I've been putting a few casts in. The right time of day is nearly here and uh, I finally got myself a bass. These bibless minnows are a really effective way to broadcast around big areas and end up with a beautiful little fish like that. Look at that. Great fish. Now he's not a monster bass, but I've got to tell you, pound for pound they put in such a fight. We'll get a look at him here in a minute. Right there, buddy. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful little Aussie bass, and you can see that bibless minnow there, he's done his job. Sneak that out of the side. Pop that out. I don't want any treble hooks in my hands, that's for sure. So I'll let that go. There we go. That's a beautiful little Australian bass that's been stocked and there's thousands going in these impoundments and they grow up to be oh, up, up towards 60 centimetres uh, is about where they sort of finish growing. Three and a half kilos. This bloke's probably around about 750 grams and he's probably about 34, 35 centimetres long. So he's got a fair way to go yet. Great thing about these bibless minnows, they come in uh, different sizes. I like the 50 mil one uh, quite often for these uh, smaller impairment bass, and they come in a 60 mil size, so a bigger size, and they're designed to match, uh, match the hatch. But look, it's a pretty simple technique. Nice long cast, broadcast it out, and, uh, and let it sink down. So let that, that lure, and just remember it will swim as it goes down. So keep an eye on the belly in your line as that lure is sinking, and if you see it straighten, you know you've got a bite and uh, let it sink down to the desired depth. And it's just a matter, matter of what we call slow rolling it. So just pick the pace. And once you pick the pace uh, that that lure needs to be wound at, you'll see your rod tip uh, vibrate away and you know that lure is working when it's vibrating. If you wind it too slow, then the lure is just moving through the water like that. And if you, if you wind it too quick, maybe it might be a little bit too fast uh, for the bass. And what it will do, it'll lift it up into the water column. Don't be afraid to pause and let that lure sink back down. Keep an eye on your sounder if you're in a boat and uh, you can see at what depth the, the fish are holding in. Well, it's only, it's only a little bass, this fella, but it doesn't really matter how big they are. The same technique applies when you're fighting a fish. So as far as tackle goes, anywhere between two and maybe five kilos. I like my two to four kilo rods. Uh, they're great for bass tackle. You've got enough tip action so you can really cast and work some pretty light lures, get them out there, and then it'll power up into that four kilo section for those bigger bass. As far as reels go, anywhere from a, a, a thousand size up to that two and a half thousand size reel is more than adequate. I'm using a bit of, uh, I think I've got four pound braid on today, four to eight pound braid. So pretty much uh, the similar sort of tackle that you use in sort of brim spinning situations up to your flathead soft plastic situations, all that'll work. You don't have to break the budget. There you go, mate. There he goes. <laughs> Back to the bottom. Yes! <laughs> and then casting along that bank's actually worked for me this time, so not a little bass. I think he's a, I think he's a big bloke. There he comes coming around here, mate. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, buddy, we'll let you go. I'm gonna go and maybe head up that way and try another bank. See you, buddy. Anyone who knows me knows I love my bass fishing. And uh, no, no better way to catch a bass than on a surface lure. I'll just uh, get this bloke out and about. Great fish. It's my first cast with, uh, with the surface lure for the evening. And uh, crash bang. There he is. Beautiful bass. I'm right up in the shallows and if you just have a look here out to the side, we're just going past. So this stick here, 
that stick there, that's where he came from, right there. For me, uh, lots of people ask me, you know, Guesty, what's, what's your favourite form of fishing? I've got to tell you, bass on surface lures, or anything on surface lures, is just phenomenal. And uh, bass on surface lures is just brilliant. Right? They are such an aggressive fish. And this bloke here, check him out. He's just come along and absolutely annihilated that. And there we go. You can get in here and walk along the bank and cast your lures out. I'm using a little cicada pattern. Beautiful little cicada, look at that. You'd swear that one was a cicada. He's got a little furry finish underneath. And he's just phenomenal. And once you cast him out, those wings fold back and you can fire that cast out a long, long way. Hits the water and then you start to wind and those little wings just flap away. And bass like this bloke here, they just can't resist it. And that beautiful fish. And he's just come up to the surface. And this is the time of day when you want to be casting your surface lures. Uh, bass are uh, very, very light sensitive. Bit of an overcast and horrible sort of afternoon this afternoon, so they will come up a little bit earlier. But, uh, but they love to feed at night time. They love to get out and feed on all sorts of terrestrial insects that get up on the surface. And cicadas are just one of them. So the best thing you can do is get a lure that matches the hatch.